uh, uh, morphology or word formation or word structure. Morphology studies the word structure. The word, only word in isolation is the word itself. But there are two kinds of morphology in any given language. Two kinds of morphology. The grammatical morphology means inflectional. Inflectional. Inflectional morphology means the grammatical affixation. Grammatical affixation. And the other one, derivation. This is the first one we have taken this in ourselves. This third. This is the first time that you that you take this uh, yeah. third. third. This is yeah. yeah, it's amazing. So there are two kinds of morphology: inflectional morphology and derivation morphology. Inflectional means grammatical affixation. In English, there are only suffixes. There is no inflectional prefixes or infixes no, in English language. Now we will examine the English because this is our target language, the language that we are studying in, in this private institution. So, in inflectional morphology in English, there are only suffixes. Mm. Now we will study the word formation, huh? In English, word formation. Before we start the, the, the difference between introduction and morphology, you must know the smallest meaningful part in a word, morphemes. which is morpheme. Morphemes or morpheme. Morpheme means the, the, the smallest meaningful part of a word. Of a word, the meaningful part of a word, the smallest one. Like, for example, on this and polaris, huh? possessiveness, uh, progressive ing. These affixations, kind of affixation, mm -hmm. is the smallest meaningful mm -hmm. part of any given word in English. Huh? So, this is the morphine. We will study morphine. There are bar morphines, pre morphines. I will explain this later, but now we will mention the, the difference between these two types. In English and Arabic, huh, we have derivational morphology and inflectional morphology. We will study, as we said, the, the English. As I said, the inflectional is grammatical, means that what are the affixation of the grammatical affixation in English. Uh, something that you add uh, that has a grammatical meaning. Can you say something that you add that has a grammatical meaning, not uh, a meaning itself? You know that? For example, if I said like and dislike, this, this here. It's not a grammatical actually, it's creating a new word. Mm -hmm. So the revisional creating or deriving a new word after the other. But the original is the simple but add a grammatical aspect on it. So in the original here, a vertical affixation, it's only found yeah? in English, huh? Suffix. It means at the end of the word. Mm -hmm. Suffix. So, inflectional morphology or inflectional morphemes in English are only found in suffixes. suffixes at the end of the, the word. Of yes. But the original is found to mm -hmm. suffix, sorry, and prefix. prefix. Very good. So, the grammatical suffixes in English. Now, all the grammatical suffixes in English means inflection, huh? This suffixion, for example, for nouns we have. Huh? What we have for nouns? We add something to nouns. Huh? That nouns. 
Yes, you have a picture. You can make a pause or stop.